Seven drivers announced for the world finals. Ghost Rider sold. All of this and more is coming up on this week's edition of Monster Truck News. Starting off with some independent results for the newest Monster Truck Tour on the circuit by the name of Monster Trucks Most Wanted in Mesquite, Texas, Ghost Rider would sweep the first show. It is unknown if any other events were held. For WGS Motorsports in Victorville, California, it would be a Canedo Motorsports sweep as racing would go to Enforcer and Freestar would go to playing for keeps. For Monster Trucks All Out in Windsor, Ontario, the show was notorious for being... Uh... Well, it was something, all right. No winners seem to have been reported, and the track was just one set of crush cars and a jersey barrier. Honestly, with all due respect to the promoters attempting to make the most out of the track and venue, it certainly looked to be one of the more lackluster shows I have seen. And finally, for Monster Truck Challenge Live in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, Rain plagued the event as Amped Up would win best trick. No racing winner was decided, but the final race would have been Godzilla versus Heavy Hitter, and Freestyle was won by Heavy Hitter. Moving on to our first story for tonight, yes, you did read that right. The world's first ever deaf monster truck driver will be debuting the all new tagged monster truck this weekend for monster trucks. Deaf Michael, as he goes by, is an employee for the Garden Bros and has been for several years and is most known for the incredible art seen on various monster trucks tracks at any given event. Being an artist has now led him to designing his truck tagged, which features most of the same types of art he has been painting onto the tracks, giving this truck one of the most unique looking designs a truck has ever had. I'm really excited to see more of this new truck and what Def Michael has in store for the Monster Trucks fans. Team Throttle Monster has expanded with two new drivers added to their team. Both are former drivers for two high profile teams. The first is Devin Winfield, formerly a driver for Mike Harper and Monster Truck Wars. However, the bigger news is what came from the former Ice Cream Man driver, Joe Yuri. Yuri has announced that he has now joined Team Throttle Monster and is going to be driving Rockwell Red for future events. Both of these come as a huge surprise, especially Joe Yuri, who announced he was taking some time off only a few weeks ago. With this news comes the possibility of the two new drivers competing in Monster Jam. Yuri, of course, began his Monster Truck career driving for Monster Jam, however, since the pandemic, has not appeared in the league since. Winfield, however, has not competed in Monster Jam at all. This is not confirmed, but with the expansion of Team Throttle Monster, it is extremely likely. We would like to congratulate Winfield and Yuri on their new tenure with Team Throttle Monster, and wish them the best of luck. The all new Monster Trucks Most Wanted Tour has gained a little bit of attention for some very interesting news that has been reported on by Phil Vicananza. On the Monster Truck Collecting Facebook group, Phil's post regarding the news reads, the inaugural Monster Trucks Most Wanted event this past weekend was the final ride for Larry and Shannon Quick. Ghost Rider and Girl Power have been reportedly sold to the new promotion. Larry Quick has owned and run Ghost Rider pretty much its entire lifespan. However, with this news, Larry and Shannon might be hanging up their helmets for now. The tour has scheduled a multitude of shows over the years spanning across the United States, and it will be interesting to see more of the Ghost Rider and Girl Power monster trucks on the Monster Trucks Most Wanted Tour. Seven drivers have been announced to be competing in the main field for the Monster Jam World Finals this July. Those drivers are Cody Saussier in Dragon, 
Armando Castro in El Toro Loco, Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger, Cynthia Gautier in the Lucas Stabilizer, Lindsay Reed in Scooby Doo, Cold Stevens in Thunder Roris, and Bari Musawa in Zombie. With this announcement, only 12 more drivers remain to be announced for the main field along with the full lineup for the High Jump and Skills Challenge Championships. More information about the World Finals itself looks like it will be revealed in an upcoming Inside Monster Jam episode on MAV TV that premieres on June 17th. Despite the long break and only two shows from now until the World Finals, Monster Jam have found a way to keep the fans on their toes during the break. It's once again time for the Monster Truck 5 of the week, where we get to showcase a multitude of shows and tours that are touring the globe. Monster Jam returns this weekend for the final stadium event for quarter one, and that will be at Cleveland, Ohio. The lineup is an exact repeat of Stadium Championship Series Red, however with Travis Mowry retiring, Corey Rummel will be driving Velociraptor. Fittingly enough, Rummel has driven the chassis before, filling in for Paul Jensen for an arena event last year. In addition to this, Michael Pagliarulo will be driving Jester as opposed to Matt. Monster Truck Throwdown will be hosting two events in Michigan this weekend. The first will be at Fremont and will feature Blockhead with Darren Basil, Dirt Crew with Jerry Beck, Dozer with Jack Brown, Sinistar with Elliot Miller, and the debut of Reckless Driving 2.0 with Jeremy Hosman. The other event will be in Wilmot and will feature Avenger with Chris Kola, Axe with Joe Foley, Jurassic Attack with Dalton Widener, and Rockwell Red with Hunter Souza. MAP Motorsports returns and will be running in Springfield, Missouri and will feature Barbarian with Devin Jones, Miss Overboard with Dedra Ballard, Rat Attack with Jacob Ladwig, Rockwell Red with Joe Yuri, Tailgater with Tim Jones, Velociraptor with David Olfer, War Wizard with RJ Turner, and Wildside with John Zimmer Sr. Monster Madness heads to Peterborough, Ontario, and will feature Backdraft with Ty Cornelius Jr., Fire Hazard with Jerry Furgeter, Loud and Dirty with Perry Como, Rat Nasty with Pat Paquette, Sabotage with Crystal Carey, and Trainwreck with Dale Eve. And finally, the Overdrive Monster Truck Tour heads to Princeton, Illinois, and will feature Against the Grain with Brad Shippett, Illuminator with Corey Snyder, Mechanical Mischief with Josh Bumgarner. You should also totally check out the independent showcase video that we did a few days ago. That would be great. Please and thanks. Hashtag cheeky little promotion. Redneck Rampage with Rod Schmidt and Toxic with Preston Perez. And well, that is all we have for today's Monster Truck News. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.